What if I told you I had a cool new tool for you to create stickers and you don't have to draw and you also don't have to pay because it's free and it's pretty cool. So a year ago, no, a year and a half, I think maybe two years ago, I told you that Mid Journey could be used to create stickers. It was okay, it was kind of rough and you know, you had to do a lot of jerry-rigging to kind of get it to work and cut out images that you want. However, fast forward to today and there's an even better tool that will create single images for you. You can add them one by one to a sticker sheet and you're done. So that tool is Google Whisk. So all you have to do is go to this website, Labs, Google, it's in beta, but it actually works pretty well. I'll leave a link to it below. Um, and you're just gonna simply drop an image. Now it's gonna do three types of image. It's gonna do a plushie, like you see this little green guy on the left. It can do an enamel sticker like this, or it can do what it calls a sticker, which is basically it just takes the image and puts a drop shadow behind it. That's like all I can tell. However, it's still good because if you are going to pull this image into something like say Canva and use the background remover tool so you have individual stickers for your Kiss Cut stickers, it makes it that much easier to get rid of that background. So all you have to do, it's super easy, is take an image, any image, drop it over here, and then wait for the magic to happen. So don't worry, I've already done this, so we'll go through some examples. So I took a picture of Lucky obviously, because that's pretty much what my phone is flooded with. And it made a cute little plushie of him. He looks a little bit like a tiger in this photo, but that's okay. Over here, he does look like more like an Abyssinian in the enamel pin. And for the sticker, he looks definitely just like an Abyssinian kitten. So super cute. And just like other AI tools, if I simply just reload this and redrop the photo in, it'll give me possibly a totally different result. Um, over here, I took a, an AI image of myself, tried to make a little plushie of it. It doesn't really make you look like you, but it does, I think, a good job of making it look like somebody. <laughs> so over here, here's an enamel pin of me, and then here is a sticker of me. So here's what I would do for your strategy. I would pick which style you like best, whether it's enamel pins or stickers, plushies, I mean, Maybe you could make it as a sticker. I don't really see that uh, working out as well as the other two. And then take each of those individual images and then you're just gonna download them and then add them to a sticker sheet, get rid of the background and add them to a sticker sheet. So the other thing you can do too, after you upload something, whether it's sticker, sticker, enamel, or plushie, you can click open in tool. Now when you open in tool, it'll take that character and you can say woman riding a horse in the mountains. I don't know where her knives went, but her tattoos are still there. Um, so I don't really like this part of the tool, uh, but sometimes it works. I would say it's like maybe 10% effective. I would just skip it and put your character, just use it as is whatever you got from the initial uh, thing. Now, if you click the My Library here at the top left, it'll take you to everything that you've just created. So if I refresh it, I can see those new ones that I made. And let's say I really like this image right here and I would like to download that and use that. So I can just hit the three dots and hit download and it will download it. And here's the description too, in case you wanna copy it and stick it in mid-journey or anything else uh, to try to regenerate that. Now I would say put all of your images into Krea first or whatever upscaler that you like. And as you can see, here's the before, and here's the after, and it just makes it a lot nicer, um, less grainy or granular, um, like you can see in the left versus the right. I think it'll just help improve the quality of your stickers. Um, so that is a wrap on how to use this new cool free tool. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope everyone is having a fabulous day. And remember, if you would like to create and sell your own stickers, you can sign up for Sticker Camp. That is a paid program, but it is specifically made for people who are like you and me who do not know how to draw and don't really have any interest in learning how to do so. So I tell you everything that you need to know where to find images, uh, how to use these different AI tools, how to to package them, where to find vendors that will create kiss cut stickers for you, uh, the mailers that you should buy, the paper if you're going to print it at home, all of that good stuff is inside of Sticker Camp and I will leave a link to that below. All right, bye.